Hey, what's up guys? Today we got a little special treat for you. We're over at my buddy Marshall's uh, with his Turbo 65 Impala you guys might have seen before. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little paint work on the hood and we're gonna show you how we're gonna do that. We're gonna take a look at the car, talk to Marshall a little bit and then get out of here. Here's the Impala here. We're gonna be doing the paintwork on this hood. Uh, gonna try to color match it and go from there. Here's Marshall, gonna tell us a little bit about the car. That is my 66 Impala. I've had this thing, my first car. Uh, been through a lot of stages, a lot of work done on it. Come from nothing to a pretty good looking car and now I need the hood to look as good as the rest of it. So the setup's a 540 Merlin block. Uh, it's got scat crank, eagle rods, JE pistons, AFR 345s, it's a billet solid roller, pretty small, street cam, it's got a single 98 mil precision, and it's run on Holly HP, run it on E85. What kind of numbers does this thing make on the dyno? Um, on 9 pounds, right when I first got it running, just kind of as a break in, it was spinning and made 919. Um, but the graph was headed straight up. I'm, I'm guessing it's right around a thousand at nine, ten pounds of boost to the tires. Still rocking a stock 12 volt with just strange 35s and a spool. Turbo 400, nothing special. Neil Chance converter that came out of an LS car with a turbo and just letting her rip. But it all seems to work. It's been a best in 965 at 149 on nine pounds. And and turn it up and let her rip this here. Okay, we got the hood of the house for the Impala, and what we're doing is just kind of reshaping this up a little bit. He had cutting it out for the uh, intake elbow for the throttle body, just kind of shaping it up, cleaning it up. Um, as you can see, I put a lot of extra glue, so we're gonna clean that all up in there. On the inside here, so tonight when we get done. We're going to uh, G2 the top side, a nice uh, medium coat. We'll G2 just this edge here. Also, what I like to do on fiberglass, because it's all haired out right there, is I'll mix up some fiberglass resin and use a little paintbrush in there. Paintbrush it down in the hole and all the fibers right there. Get it all nice and hard, and then I can go in there and just clean it up, and it keeps it from fraying out. And we'll do that along inside here, the cowl area. Um, Get it cleaned up. Kind of a little trick I did is I just put a piece of sandpaper on the can. Sand it right here. Made a nice contour, cleaned it up a little bit. I'm going to make it a little more even. It's off a little bit, um, but we'll get that cleaned up. Uh, once I get it flipped over, once I flip it over, I'll show you what uh, else we're going to do. All right, so we got the hood here. What we did is we uh, did a flat block, 120, uh, blocked her down really well, fixed a couple spots with some uh, dolphin glaze, went over it again with 220 and then lightly with 320. We're getting ready to uh, do a round of G2 on it just to kind of level out the hood and we'll block that down. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, we just put a couple coats of uh, G2 on it. Came out pretty well. Uh, there's one or two little pinholes in the fiberglass. No big deal, got those filled in. Um, tomorrow, we'll be putting it outside, letting it sit in the sun for most of the day. Come back blocking this thing out. Uh, and we will be putting some urethane primer over the top, getting it ready for paint. Okay, we got the hood all blocked out, the G2. We hit it with 180 on a hard block. Uh, 220 and then 320. Uh, it feels pretty good, leveled out real nice. What we're gonna do is wipe it down with some grease and wax remover, let it dry, tack it. And we're gonna come over here, fix up this finish one, FP410 uh, urethane primer. We'll give that a couple coats and we'll be able to block sand it from there. I'll show you here's what we do.
I like to do it nice and wet on the first coat and I'll come back with a dry towel and hit it again. And then after that we'll come back with a tack rag, knock all the dust off of it. And be ready to shoot some uh, urethane primer on it. And we'll give it a couple coats. That will just finalize any last little thing that we have going on. Make sure we get the edge real nice. Right. Here we go with the dry towel. Just to get any of the heavy moisture off. Okay, come back with a tack rag, just kind of matted up the tack rag and now I like them my tack rags when they're used once or twice and they're not so sticky usually when I paint uh, with a fresh one I'll open it up and let it sit a day or two if possible just to kind of air out because they are pretty sticky uh, out of the box so I like them just toned down a little bit what this does is just remove any dust or any residue or anything off the surface one last time okay that's all done now we're gonna come over here and mix our primer mix ratio on it is four to one now I've shaken this thing pretty liberal and uh, stirred it up make sure there was nothing on the bottom you can see Four. That'll give us a couple coats. Right on the money. And our FH411. Okay, we just finished. We put two coats on it over the majority. A couple little spots here and there. We added just a, like a little third wet where I thought it might have needed just a touch more. Came out pretty good. Looks really straight. Um, from here, we're gonna flip it around. I'm gonna stick it outside tomorrow, let it bake in the sun. And I'm gonna flip it around, get the bottom finished prepped. And we're gonna paint the inner part of the cowl like a satin black. And then we're going to work on painting the underneath side of the hood. And then we'll paint the top. Okay, we've got the top of the hood ready to paint. Um, here's the bottom side. We've hit it with some 220. I'm going to go back over it with 320. We did G2 the edges on it where we did some uh, heavy sanding to get rid of the glue. Uh, that was excess glue from when they seamed the hood together. A couple pinholes in there. We're going to take seam sealer, clean up that 
with the seam sealer. Go back over this. Uh, tonight we are gonna paint the inside of the hood area, the semi-gloss black. So we'll get that ready to go. So tomorrow night, we'll come back in, we'll tape off the inner part of the cowl, seal it and shoot it, uh, the orange, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we got the hood all taped off just to paint the inside of the cowl. Uh, we're about ready to get started here. Got it all cleaned down, blow it out, wiped down. Um, just gonna put some like hot rod satin black, just a nice uh, medium satin. Should look pretty good. Okay, just got done spraying the uh, semi-gloss black on this. Came out really nice. Got it all up in the nooks and crannies. Um, this should be a nice little touch to this hood. Nice little accent on the orange. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna finish up uh, part one of the video for Marshalls and Paula painting the hood. I feel like uh, there's a lot of video already, so we're gonna do a part two of actually painting the color, and we're gonna show wet sanding and buffing and taking it over there and putting the hood back together. Some of you guys have seen that car on 1320 uh, when they came to the streetcar challenge here in Spokane. Check it out there. Uh, I will try to post a link at the bottom to that video. Uh, see how you guys like it. And just remember, nothing gets new.